I'm not usually this gushy in my videos. I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Eric, and like I always like to say, I love all things Disney, and I've got some really cool Disney merch here from Japan to unbox for you today. If you can't tell, I am really excited. I don't know if you know what it is. If you saw my Instagram, you might know what it is. I've been waiting for this, and I just really can't wait to unbox it. So it actually arrived yesterday, but I was busy. And anyway, before so we can get started, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit that bell icon so you always know when things go up, and then follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well, because I post things from my Walt Disney trips there, and then Disney merch information in my stories, and there's a ton of different things, things about movies and just so much Disney stuff, all right? If you like Disney, you definitely just wanna go follow me on Instagram specifically. But anyway, I thought we'd do an unboxing here. If you don't know, there is a 30th anniversary for a Disney property this year, and it's one that really defined my childhood, and I just loved it a lot. Thus far, Shop Disney in the US and the UK have not done anything to celebrate this anniversary. It came, it went, who knows? It's technically all of 2019, so maybe they might do something in the fall, I'm not sure, but right now they have not announced plans. However, Shop Disney Japan, because Shop Disney Japan is awesome, did some awesome things for the 30th anniversary. That's what this is, and that's what we're gonna unbox today, and oh, I'm just really, really excited. But okay, so we can get started. Let's go ahead and look at the box, because Mikiko, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope so, always does a great job boxing these, and they have some really cool Disney stamps. So let's take a look here, and you can probably see those there. Every time I get one of these delivered, which I have to sign for, the postman or postwoman always comments on the stamps. The stamps are so cool. You've got Mickey and you've got Minnie and Pooh and Tigger and Pinocchio. Why don't we have these in the United States? I don't know. Is there a licensing issue? Come on, United States Postal Service. Get these stamps and I don't care if you raise the prices like you do every other year. I will buy them because I love them. And I love that she's able to send me these this with these stamps as well because it really does make the box all right so in here we have a box and we are going to unbox it because that's what this video is all about now these went up i think on the 18th of march and i believe they're still available they weren't limited edition or anything like that so she ordered them for me and then got me them um she's awesome i will link to her ebay store in the comments below but she's the one who also helped me get all those mickey mouse 90th plush that Shop Disney Japan did as well. So she's just been really great. And those were limited and sold out really easily. So it was nice to work with her to be able to get these. And I'm glad that I'm going to have them. I'm really glad that I'm gonna have them. Uh, if I wasn't gonna buy any Disney plush this year, which we all know is not true, this would have changed my mind. That's just what I'm saying, all right? So let's see, in here. Okay, so we've got this open now. And she included the Shop Disney Store or the Disney Store Japan bag, which is always nice. On this side, it's Mickey, and then it's got Duffy on the side. She always usually includes that kind of stuff, which is also really neat. I just hang on to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. All right, and here we go, all right? Again, Shop Disney Japan just has some great detail. You can see the tape here. This is different, and actually it goes along with the theme. It used to be that they gave, had Mickey tape, but now you got some Chip and Dale icons on there. But we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And I'm assuming this is the Disney store that does this. I don't know if it's her. She might be the one that does it, but I think it's a Disney store. If she is the one that does it, then man, she goes above and beyond. And I, one of the reasons I love ordering from her. All right, so here we go. It's a whole Rescue Rangers set of plush. Oh, I, I'm so excited. You have no idea how excited I am. If you don't like Disney stuff, you probably think I'm really weird right now, like most of my friends in life, but, oh man, Rescue Rangers was my jam as a kid, okay? DuckTales came out, it was great but Rescue Rangers was the one that I would watch nonstop, and I just love it. And I've always loved Chip and Dale, like you know if you watch my vlogs, which you can check those out on my channel. 
I always go see Chippendale when I'm at Walt Disney World. I always see Mickey, but I always see Chippendale as well because they're Chippendale and they are just my favorites. But again, we've got some neat tape here. All right, then let's go ahead and try and open this up. Oh, I can tell you right now, I love the size of these too. Okay, all right. I'm so excited. I'm like beyond excited right now. All right, so here we go. First up, Monterey Jack. I mean, look at him. Look how, like, he is a decent sized plush. He retails for 2,200 yen, which is roughly $22, I believe, US. And so, give or take, that's kind of expensive, given the size of plush he is. But, oh man, oh, just, oh, look at him. Okay, so up here you've got like his goggles, and they're just felt, right? They're nothing, it's fine. But they're up there, and they're articulated, and it's stitched on there really nicely. And he's got his shirt underneath, and you can tell on the cuff that it's all the way in the back, too. And then they've even got the pockets articulated. And look at his expression. It's just perfect money. And you've got his tail in the back. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I just... Oh. And we've only done one. We've only got one box right now. I'm not usually this gushy in my videos. I don't know. So I'm just really, really, really excited. And they even did a special tag with the logo on there. The interesting thing, and we'll get this when I get to Dale, is the reds are not red. And I don't know why that is. I, I asked my friend who um, is whose mother is Japanese, and he didn't think there was anything red specific about red that Japanese people don't like. I mean, Nintendo's logo is all red, so which is interesting to me. They, they, they do this off, like, pale red instead on all these things. So if you're gonna have Monterey Jack, you're also gonna have Zipper, and like, look at okay, the size comparison, that's pretty good. Obviously, Zipper would be smaller in real life, real life, right? But, I mean, how small can you make him? He's got his little antenna up here, and they're wires, so they'll stand up a little bit more. They're like, or they're actually like cord, I guess I should say. And I love his expression as well, and his wings on the back. And then his shirt's all felt, so that's really cool. And then he is 1,200 yen. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna keep moving. Before we get to the main two guys, let's go ahead and look at Gadget now. And so here she is, and her goggles up here are like a ribbon fabric. That's really neat and interesting way to do that. And they kind of put like these caps on them, but it looks like it's like a ball of ribbon stuffed. And then there's like ribbon wrapped around to create like the headband. She is also all felt and cleaning her hair, but you can even see they layered the hair in the back. Oh, this is really neat. And she retails for 2,000 yen or roughly $20, I believe. Her hands are stitched together. So we're gonna leave them like that. And then her eyes are just really well articulated as well. And then her pink little nose and her mouse ears and then her tail. So we've got those three. Let's take a look at the particular characters of Chip and Dale. And these came as a set. So you can see they're joined together and they retail for 3,500 yen. Here you've got Chip and Dale in a very traditional Japanese style Chip and Dale design. If you've looked at any other Japanese Chip and Dale merchandise, then this is kind of what they look like. But they have the clothes on from Rescue Rangers. And so Ch Chip has his bomber jacket on and he's got like the white fluffy collar on it as well, which goes against his fluffy cheeks. And they kind of have like a soft yellow muted color to them, which isn't too abnormal. It's a little more lemony, I guess I'm gonna say, than what you would typically see, but I think it works. And then you've got Dale here. And I love, if you look at their eyes, their eyes are actually different, right? Dale kind of has his eyelids showing and his teeth are actually articulated on his mouth as well. So they aren't the same exact design because Chip's got his hat and then Dale's got his fluff, which is appropriate. And then Dale also has his red Hawaiian shirt on, which, okay, so let's talk about that again. This is not red, right? This is like a pale muted red. I don't know why they do this. This is just how they do it. And then on the back, you can see they're even, you can tell better here, they're slightly different colors, right? Which they are in the series as well. Man, I just am so excited to have these. I. Yeah, might have cost me a little more than I wanted to spend. There was a ton of other stuff you could get. There was like a car, like tissue wrapping thing that goes over like your tissue box. And then there was like a figurine of them in the car. And there was a hat with like Chip's ears on it. And that seemed really cool, but I didn't know if it would fit my head. And so I didn't want to spend money on it just to not have it fit my head. And there were some bags and just tons of cool merchandise 
that only shop Disney Japan does because they're unique and they do their own thing. But yeah, oh man, these guys are so cool and I'm so excited to have them. Like I said, Rescue Rangers is one of my favorite shows growing up and one of my favorite from the Disney afternoon. You've probably heard me talk about DuckTales, but when it comes to Disney afternoon, it really was Rescue Rangers for me. That was the one that I would watch nonstop. Let me know what you grew up watching if it was part of the Disney afternoon in the comments below. Let me know what you think of these guys and if you did watch Chippendale Rescue Rangers, let me know in the comments as well. Like I said, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit that bell icon, and then follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Do all those fun things. But beyond all that, and most importantly, until next time, have a really magical day.